Hey guys, it's Camille from Six Sister Stuff and today we are making our frozen pineapple whips. Now if you've ever been to Disneyland, you know that those pineapple whips are all the rage. That's what everybody wants in the park. It has the longest line, but the great thing is you can make it at home and it's super easy. I'm gonna show you how. So, pull out a blender. You're gonna want a high-speed blender. That is gonna make all the difference when it comes to making these whips. I'm gonna start with some frozen pineapple chunks. Now, I've had these thawing for about 15, 20 minutes, just so that they're gonna blend a little bit easier. They're not completely frozen solid. But throw those into the bottom of your blender, and we're gonna blend those up first. Okay, once you've kind of pureed it down just a little bit, you're gonna add in some ice cream. Now I'm just using plain vanilla ice cream. If you wanted to, you could do like a pineapple sherbet, but I do like the vanilla because it makes it super creamy and then just adds a really smooth flavor. You also are gonna want your ice cream to be a little bit thawed just so it's easier to scoop in. The next thing that I love to add to this is just a little bit of lime and lemon juice. Um, I found that it's best if you use fresh fruit just because it adds so much more of a fresh flavor. So I'm just gonna squeeze in about half of a lemon and half of a lime. So the next ingredient you're gonna wanna add is 100% pineapple juice. Now make sure that it's 100%, that it's not um, just some sugary drink or soda. You wanna have that 100% pineapple juice so you get all that good flavor. Add a couple ounces to that and then we're gonna blend it again. So once it's done blending, pull out some fun cups that you're going to want to serve this in. You can try and pour it in, but I found that it's easier if you can kind of scoop it in. You have a little bit more control of how it's going to look. Now, if you want this to be not so much of a soft serve, you can throw it in the freezer for another hour or two, but I think that it's most delicious when it's served like this. So fill up your cups, and then you're just gonna get a little bit more pineapple juice to pour on the top. Now you don't have to do this, but I love the way that it looks. Once you get some of that pineapple juice in there, top with a fun straw, and you have the perfect summer drink. I hope you enjoy this fun summer treat as much as we do. Be sure to check out the recipe on SixSistersStuff.com.